Today is day two of trying to get these corn snakes to breed. But before we start pairing, I need to get this book order out. Last year I released a short children's book based on snake keeping and some of the responsibilities that go with it. If you're interested in picking one up, signed copies are available at MolineroSnakeLab.com. Today is the second time I'm pairing Mr. and Mrs. Torrance together to try to get them to breed. The first time I introduced them together, we had no luck. When I put him inside of her enclosure today, he went right towards but her. But then he slithered over top of her and went in a different direction. He did a lap around the enclosure and and then went back to her. And then once again, he slithered right over top of her. It appeared she was showing a little interest by making quick jerky movements. But neither of them were really displaying any behavior that's indicative of them wanting to breathe. I watched them for about 30 minutes and didn't see any signs of them trying to lock. But I'll leave them together for another day or two to see what happens. I'll also keep an eye on the barometric pressure. When barometric pressure drops, it often gets snakes in the mood to eat and breathe. Sometimes snake breeding can be frustrating, but you just gotta make adjustments along the way and trust the process.